Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. From this video, you are going to learn about symbol and collection feature on Doric. You can save any section, column, or any element of your website as a symbol or collection item, which you can reuse on your website on anywhere you need. So if you save any section, column, or any element as a symbol item, you can reuse that item in any place of your website. But if you make any change of a symbol item in any single place, it is going to take effect on rest of the places you used that symbol item. Where if you save a section, column or any element of your website as a collection, you can reuse that collection on any place of your website. But you can design them, make changes independently on separate places. So let me show you how it works in real life. So for instance, let's say I want to save this header section as a section symbol, which I want to use on multiple pages that I would have on my website. So to make this section as a symbol, simply click on the right button of your mouse by selecting the section. Then you're going to find this option. As you can see the section, then we got the save as symbol option. So let's click on it. Then I'm going to give it a name as nab. Let's click on save. Same way, just take a look. It turned to a symbol item, but you can make a symbol item, for instance, any element of your website. Let's make this button as a symbol item. So let's do this. I'm going to click on the right button of my mouse. We're going to save it as a button. Let me type out button and let's click on save. So we saved this section as a symbol and we saved this button element as a symbol. Now, if I create a new page here on this website, let me take you to the new page. Let's click on this add new section. As we saved our header section as a symbol, we'll find the section right here under section symbols. So let's click here. After that, I'm going to select nav. Just take a look, we got our nav bar added on this website, which saved a whole lot of time. So now if I make any change here on this nav bar on this new page, it is going to take effect on the home page as well. So let me show you how. So if I click here on this element, let's scroll a bit down. We're going to add a new link item. So I'm going to copy this pricing and let's make a single change as about and I'm going to take you back to the home page. Just take a look. We got this about link item added on this home page number as well. So this is how the symbol works. Now let me take you back to the new page and then I'd love to add a new section here. Let's go with a custom section. And as I saved the button element as a symbol, if I click here on this add element, we'll find whatever element for let's say the heading, for let's say this icon text, whatever element we save as a symbol, we'll find it under this element symbols option. So if we save a column as a symbol, we'll find it under the column. Whenever we'll add a new column, we'll find the option of column symbol. So let's go with this element symbol as we added our button as a symbol. Now if I click here on this button, it is going to be appeared here. So now if I make any change here on this button, it is going to take effect on our home page button as well. Wherever we are going to use this button, it is going to be changed as well upon making any change here on this button as it is a symbol. Now let's go back to the home page. I'd love to save this section as a collection. So I'm going to click here. Let's save to collection, click here. And if I give it a name, let's say section collection as an example, let's click on save. So we can basically save a column as a collection. We can save row as a collection. We can save this item or element as a collection as well. Now, how can we use this? We can use the collection right here on this page, or we can use it to any other pages. If I click on add new section, and as we saved a section as the collection, we'll find it right here. As you can see, saved sections. And here we go, the same section collection. If I click here, we'll see that section has been added here on our website and we can make whatever change we want. Instead of this awesome benefits, I'd love to say this is a heading and it is not going to affect the homepage collection. So if I publish this, if I take you back to home page, you can see we are not seeing any change appeared here on this heading although we made a change here on this heading. So this is basically how the symbol works. Symbol works globally where the collection works independently. So 
I believe you got an overview how you can use symbol and collection on your website to speed up your web design process. If you got any further question, please feel free to ask us by commenting below and visit us at doric.com for more information. Thank you so much for being with Doric.